Who's mate, Drakir? For the second video, not on this. And yeah, last time, uh, <laughs> Guybrush and Marlene, uh, really, uh, no, not Marlene, Elaine, returned from their honeymoon. Only, well, everyone presumed Guybrush, they, everyone presumes that they both died with how long away they were. So it does make me wonder, how long were they gone? You can say hmm. that, uh, three months. Okay. Uh, but yeah, now we, uh, with her being declared dead, uh, some other asshole has shown up to run for mayor in the... Uh, now, so now she and he are going to be on an election pass, and in the meantime we have to... Well, we already sabotaged the jackass who was trying to destroy the governor's building, aka our house. Uh, now we just have to get a restraining order to, well, get them to keep... <laughs> to not have them try again. And we also heard about some ultimate insults. But yeah, I believe yeah. last time we were supposed to go to the Hall of Justice. Because we, we visited the, fam the family lawyers. Oh, hello. Wait. Now there's a man. Otto. Otis. Is that you? Yep. How did How did you get yourself in jail in within the first minutes of getting on this island? Yeah. Otis, what, what are you doing here? I'm a victim of society. Let me guess, you were framed, right? How did you know? <laughs> Just a hunch. Some old guy with a weird accent accused me of stealing flowers from his front yard. What is it with you and flowers? It's a plot, I tell you. People are to make me seem less fearsome and piratey by accusing me of being the kind of pirate who likes to pick flowers. If it's any comfort, Otis, I never found you all that fearsome to begin with. <laughs> ah, go pick a pack of posies. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, as is invisible, I've managed to... Well, it wasn't much of a fix. I'm running this game now with the DG Voodoo stuff activated. So we, we're not getting all those lines all over the place. But it seems that there are still some pauses here and there. I'm feeling an incredible the second option. Deja vu. Would it help if I gave you a breath mint? Wait, it's passed. <laughs> See you later, Otis. You gotta get me out of here, right? Maybe. Yeah, and also... the. I think you recognize the painting there. No. I think this... it's from another game. I don't recognize it in any case. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I do see it right away. It's... I guess they use it on these Iron Maiden spikes to allow smooth impaling. Uh, I don't see. I think it's from another game for... The old style is completely different for everyone else here. Yeah. Iron Maiden! Excellent! Uh, I have no idea why I said that. Okay, I, 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 I think, think there was a why. reference to Bill and Ted. Uh, yeah, I think probably and possibly reference to the band. Yeah, uh, there's a place for shackles on the wall. And, yep. It's good to see that Luke Island doesn't mollycoddle its criminal element. But even that name has a trademark. Hey, I should bring Meat Hook here. You'd like this place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. okay. So we're not supposed to go there. Uh, I do have the hint book on the side here. Uh, it's like it does get rid of the sound for a bit. Um, but it it doesn't really. Uh... It, oop. Okay, that was something I was throwing around with falling down this in my desk. I'll pick it up another time. Uh, yeah, the hint book doesn't really uh, play its quarry like the previous one, where it would tell, where it would basically be a, like a sort of questionnaire, like a, this is going on, what do I do now, and it gives you hints and then the answer upside down. No, this one tells you straight up what to do, so that it, it is less fun that way. But to a, we're we're just going to oh, yeah, we're just going to explore around in this 
in the meantime. And, oh no, it wasn't the... We need to go to the bank. There, There's a safety deposit chest there that we need to... Uh, <clears throat> that we need to get. We should be able to get. Oh, right next door to it. I completely missed the sign saying bank. <laughs> and just why not, young lady? Bank policy, sir. I can't convert these traveler's checks because we've never heard of, uh, what's his name? Australia. But you've honored them countless times before. We've had a bad run of counterfeit money come through here lately, so we've had to tighten our policy. And if you ask me, these don't look real. Besides the funny name, there's a picture of a strange animal on here that has another one popping out of its belly. <laughs> That's a kangaroo, you ignorant pirate trollop. See? There you go. Kangaroo. Another funny name. Funny as they, too. Kangaroo. <laughs> kangaroo. <laughs> oh, strength. Ooh. <laughs> I've got business to attend to, but I'll come back, and when I do, I want these honored. Have a nice day, Mr. Mandrill. You should switch to decaf. <laughs> uh, I actually looked this up after last time. Uh, the Americas were discovered um, in the 17th century, about, I believe. And Australia was discovered in the 19th. So, yeah. Yeah, the, Australia was actually spotted much earlier probably is often after the Spain Spaniards looked at the northern area they thought like there's nothing nope. here before the entire <laughs> he was a small desert island yes well if they if they had gone further inland they probably never would have come back anyway they probably would have been eaten by koala yeah here's a fun fact before England took the entire thing over there was apparently plans for Sweden to take a small part of it. Okay. <laughs> Along with Netherlands. For yeah, because oh, of course. No, it, was it was the Dutch who found it first. And thought, there's nothing here. <laughs> okay. I and missed uh, that bit. I, I did only do a cursory search on it, but yeah. I, I found it by accident uh, on YouTube recommendation. And I just watched... The only thing that made me draw, watch it was when I saw... It was the title of this is what almost happened to Australia. And then I saw the Swedish flag in the, uh, uh, let's see, southwestern corner. Which made um, me go, what the fuck? Are you perhaps talking about that alternate history channel? I, I nope. think that's actually it, their name. <laughs> it, it was not alternative history channel, to another channel. It, it was more like, it was many countries that had plans to move there, but never happened due to well, for example, wars and all that. Yeah, <laughs> Europe was kind of busy with each other. Yeah, so many had to change priorities, and England just had uh, enough to do, to do with uh, just take, they take the whole place over. Free Scupperware promotion today. Just open an account with 10,000 pieces of eight or more. Scupperware, Tupperware, for <laughs> oh, come on, that's a complete ripoff. What? what? I do mental math anymore. Hey. Um, excuse me. Please speak with the teller. But I just have a quick. Please ask the teller. I'm very busy, and she can probably assist you. Okay. Hey. Okay. It's full of names and numbers and lots and lots of math. Hi there. Welcome to the second bank of Luger. I'm Brittany. How may I help you? Second? What happened to the first? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what happened to the first bank of Luger? Nothing. It was our public relations department's idea. They felt that being called the first bank didn't project an image of experience. Uh, uh, what? I'd like to retrieve some items from my safe deposit box. Fine, sir. And whose name is it under? Marley. H.T. Marley. Here's a letter that might help. Okay, no need to present that in a room. This is for Governor Marley. Do you have power of attorney to act on her behalf? I'm her dashing husband. <laughs> Not good enough. Oh, well, there is this. 
Right, my lawyers. Is, uh, oh no, the the symbol. Oh my, that will be fine, sir. Just a moment, Mr. Quidworth. There's a gentleman here to use the vault. Everything seems to be in order, Mr. Marley. That's Mr. Threepwood. As you wish, sir. <laughs> yeah, and it's taking a bit to load it. Go oh, hello. If you'll just follow me into the vault, we can open up your grandfather-in-law's safe deposit chest. <laughs> yeah. Well, here it is, sir. The safe deposit chest of H.T. Marley, just as he left it over 20 years ago. Yeah, this sadly couldn't be fixed. collection of junk. Why would Grandpa Marley store garbage like this in a bank? That Governor Marley was an eccentric old sort, wasn't he? <laughs> you know, we were all crushed when he disappeared off the face of the earth like he did. Anyway, well, I've got some loans to turn down. You just let me know when you're done here, and I'll come running. Gee, thanks. Well, I guess I better start looking for that deed to the governor's mansion so I can get home to Elaine. Let's see now. Hot water bottle, monkey pacifier, crocodiles, uh, Jimmy Hoffa, do it yourself tattoo kit, bloody stiletto knife, bottomless mug. You really should have called me first. We have rules about Oh, great. Gee, I'm sorry. I'll go back. And I'll see if I can scrounge up a rock. Wax lips. Um. Yikes! Who are you supposed to be? Isn't it obvious? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No, you're not. Well, what makes you say that? Well, for one thing, Guybrush is much better looking than you are. <laughs> and for another, the real Guybrush doesn't smell like anchovy halitosis. Ooh. All right, mate, bucko. That's enough of that. Fuck away from the Barney Airlines and be quick about it. Now, oh, Mr. Threepwood, take a good long look at the last place you'll ever see. Uh, who? But it's all spec. I knew that deregulated banking would lead to this. Okay, I was about to ask, was it really necessary for it to be a cutscene there? And, uh... Yeah, we are so getting framed for this. Yeah, and I have to say... Now I can see why people dislike the animation here for... Some some of those psychiatrists were very rough. Now drop everything and come out. My lawyers are fired. Yep. Come on. It's an old what? sword. Yeah, it's it's become a hostage situation or something. <laughs> okay, let's put that back. Uh, let's put that away. We still have the other. Th <laughs> we still have this freaking duck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Oop. taking a moment to load again. Uh, it's a packing sponge. But like, like those packaging, <laughs> like those pockets of air they use for packaging these days or something. No, no, an actual. Maybe you don't know this, Hilian, but regular sponges were dead yeah. animals. Yeah, I and know, but that they used it like that, like this, like the packaging stuff, like yeah, like a, a packing sponge. It makes it sound like it's you, it they is, use it for storage or something. Possibly or filling in. But it is a, it is a sea sponge, so yeah, you, you could work there to that. Actually, my father used to own one. Nope. It was very unsettling and after a while when it got older. Wait, what? It's a cute little music box. There's a music box in here. Hey, there's a bottle of fine grog behind this music box. <laughs> of course. What? It's a bottle oh. of the 67 Chateau de Spittle. A fine vintage grog with an insouciant flavor and a saucy aftertaste. <laughs> Come on, this is an accent even necessary. Okay, put that away. And then we have this here, is whatever so this is. Now it's oh, a handkerchief. This hanky has PP embroidered on it. And I highly doubt that this belonged to Grandpa Marley. Helium, don't. Ooh, this thing reeks. 
Okay. Wait, you could. It said you could use it with this small sponge. Yep, there's one on with the floor. Packing sponge. Oh. It okay, must have laid, It must have been on top of it. Uh, hmm. Okay, I have to check that if they actually used in the past sea sponges for packaging. It, it would make sense, though. Well, I can't remove it with my bare hands. Okay. If I could open it, I wouldn't be trapped in here. <laughs> it's the door to freedom. <laughs> it's one of the hinges that holds this door in place. Now, I should I should use the look it's option a lot more. That holds this door in place. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing oh. we, we could pry one of these out with the sword. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, people, if you ever see a sea sponge that you want to use to washing, if I recall, it is what it is a animal do. Many as such as me as kid mistook it for a plant. It's one of those uh, are they owned uh, don't are they or, or are they not things I believe. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, there we go. That's one loose. And I, yeah, I, I just I could not. I I I think we're just stuck with it having these occasional times of just loading. I just hope they don't get it doesn't get stuck at one point. Hmm. Probably really a good idea to see often. Wrong button. Oop. Oh, and that broke well the sword. Well done, Alien. Well done. You feel proud. <laughs> The, the sword was already old. I broke the sword too. Okay. There's a little space between the door and the frame. Hmm. You, you can't reach it, can you, Guybrush? That did something though. Loading again. Oof. Hmm. I get the feeling we're going to have to. That didn't get me anywhere. Okay. Um, I'm guessing we're going to have to stick these sponges in the crack and try and force it open somehow. As he swaps over and has to load again for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, again, I have the hint book on the side here, but I'm not looking at it just yet. Uh, I do see it says something about the duck and the spritzer bottle that we picked up. Okay. Oh dear. And the crack is too and small. Yeah. Once this is done, once we break out, definitely save. Yeah. I did. Oh. Okay, that is nice. <laughs> they make sounds like that as well. Um. Let's. Maybe we can wet. Try and wedge it open a bit more with the swords. Hmm. Yeah, the best thing I can think of is that we have to force something into in between the door and the frame and then expand on that until it's forced open somehow. And then again, the solution might just be another stupid thing that doesn't make much sense at all. Come on. There we go. Go. That worked a bit, a bit, and then not. Wait, what? That looked weird. Yeah. The sword seems to be widening the crack a bit. Okay. Um. 
Let's see. Can we put the... Yep. I think we can put the, sp the small sponge in then. I really hope it does. It's. I really hope it's taking this much time with loading each time, just because where we are, and it doesn't. It, it doesn't do this for everything. It didn't earlier, but. Oh well. There we go. That's that in there. Then it's the medium and the large, and then I have no idea what else. Maybe we. May we dump the the grog on it? Though I don't see what's wetting the. Sp Actually, it isn't. Act oh, I guess. I guess with the grog on it, the sponges should expand, or something like that. It's I'm not really sure if that is actually a real thing, a thing in real life. But I know in some games and shows and such, uh, that sponges do yeah, bulk up when, yeah, when yeah, you put water or something on it. They do bulk up. Okay, that's the second one. Man game. It's a bit annoying that the <laughs> the game that was older than this uh, runs better than this one. But then again, that one was was also 2D, which runs a lot easier. Probably also easy to make it work for modern computers. So this one, I suspect, uh, it might be harder to do it with, as well uh, less people willing to do it, since it was apparently not one of the people's favorite game. Okay. Yeah, a lot, a lot of games have issue jumping from uh, 2D to 3D, which is why um, yeah, which is why it's typically better to do a test thing. There are dry sponges stuffed in the door jam. Yeah, the, the yeah. one of the reasons he specifically says dry is for us to pick this, I believe. Yeah, but yeah, that, that is exactly why I like uh, what Ubisoft did with Rayman 2, as in they, they didn't make Rayman 2 as their first 3D game, they made a game... <laughs> They made a different game, a completely original one, uh, which which they tested out how to make a 3D game, and after that they made Rayman 2. Smart move. And also, I hope that we live in an age where, where 3D and 2D and such is both equally respected. In general. Music change? Why do we get the feeling we're going to blow out, you know, blow the, oh, the rock? Okay, that was quite the distortion. We're going to blow the, ru oh, the rubber, the rubber out of here and get blamed for all of this ourselves, aren't we? Loading. I really hope that the game just doesn't die at any point with stuff like this. I'm free! So long, suckers! And remember, you've just been robbed by Guybrush Threepwood! <laughs> hey! Where? Where'd he go? Hey, what's all the commotion? Get him! Ah. You're under arrest, Mr. Threepwood. Right. Down to the jailhouse with you. Oh, hi, Otis. <laughs> uh, did uh, you notice the tone he used? Hmm? Uh, who you mean? Helium, I yep. think we just discovered the origin of uh, Captain Jack Sparrow's phrase. <laughs> Maybe there was some influence on it, but I find it a bit doubtful. I also think we were supposed to see a bit more there, unless they somehow killed all the lights in the <laughs> in the place. 
Oh, there we go. I'm guessing Marlene... Why do we keep calling her Marlene? I keep messing up Elaine and Marley and mixing it together. <laughs> also, I'm just going to take a quick print screen of this because I get the feeling where we might be able to use this as uh, something. Come on, game. At this rate, it is really going to be several hours later. Yeah, again, sorry. <laughs> There's just a risk with old games like this. Sometimes things just don't want to work really well. <clears throat> yeah. So I can say this: if if this if we were to abandon this due to this, at least we know this game is no longer canon. <laughs> I I don't think that's why they would uncanonize this game because I I Not assume a... back in the day it would work a lot better. It's just that oh, no, no. Uh, these days it does not anymore. I, I, it, that's not why I said it. I mean, like, if you abandon it, it's, at least this, we're not missing out the story. I mean, just meant the story is no longer canon. True, but I, I think the same goes for the Tales of Monkey Island games then. Hmm. Probably, yeah. I think I heard, at least it's rumored to be only one, two, and three. That's still canon. Let's get let's give this a few more minutes, as is. If it still hasn't progressed, then I think the game is just completely broken. It's not that it. What? All right, uh, you. Didn't your mum ever explain that bank robbery isn't nice? It wasn't me. It was the No Nose Bandit. Right, No Nose Bandit. Or perhaps it was the guy we caught red-handed. You! Although we haven't found the loot yet. So find it with the real robber. So let me go and get cracking. Detective work isn't my job. If you want to clear your name, you've got a few things to do. Okay, what? I need the perpetrator, I need proof he was at the scene of the crime, and I need proof that he committed the crime. You know, it'd be a lot easier if I could just bribe you. I'll ignore that, Fleetwood. Around here, we do things by the book. Now. Since this is your first offense, you'll be placed under house arrest. I get to go back to the mansion and play with Timmy? No, you are confined to Luca Island. You are not permitted to leave until and unless you are cleared of the crime of bank robbery. To make sure you don't leave, you are required to wear the voodoo anklet of extreme discomfort. I was wondering about that. It's rather uncomfortable. Can you loosen it? Well, that wouldn't be the point then, would it? It gets a lot more uncomfortable if you try to leave the island. <sighs> At least I'm not in jail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's one way to allow us to keep going without, well, trying to bullshit completely of how <laughs> you're not in cell. Also, Otis, you are going to wear a groove in the floor there. <laughs> also, yes. Uh, oh. hmm? no, I, I wonder, did we trigger the scene due to you in the menu like that? Maybe. Uh, give me a moment. Inky is at the door. Yes. Something you want for a ball? <laughs> Back. Okay, where? Oh, of course. Now she does want to go into the closet. Yeah, she really likes nesting in my closet on top of an old back uh, backpack. Well, actually, it's not that old. <laughs> well, yeah, she and Oscar don't really fight over it, but they do swap from time to time who, who gets in there. <laughs> uh, and immediately she's grown bored with it, because of course. Where are you going now? On top of the bed. Oh, she's in one of these moods. I'm not sure if her mouth was audible there, but she wants to be up high. So give me a moment again. And if I remember correctly, this should be the... Hey, 
Wait, what? Oh. Uh, okay, I, that was just me being completely stupid. I hit. Yeah, that what didn't save. Uh, I, I told you to save right after. Uh, yeah, apparently the BRB button that I have also tried to get out of the game. Okay, at least we know. Go. Well, yeah. That's so going into a fail. Uh, yeah. At least we can now also test out if opening up the menu helps with this or nothing. Okay, now she's trying to climb the walls. <laughs> Come here, you. And just why not, young lady? Bank policy, sir. I can't convert these traveler's checks because we've never heard of... Uh, Climbing up the walls. Australia. But you've honored them countless times before. We've had a bad run of counterfeit money come through here lately, so we've had to tighten our policy. And if you ask me, th these don't look real. <laughs> okay, we can skip through things with escape, luckily. But yeah, now she's on top of the <laughs> now she's on top of this as we have the shelves on my wall. Okay. Welcome to the second bank of lucre. I'm Brittany. How may I help you? Okay. I'd like to retrieve some items from my safe deposit box. Fine, sir. It and seems we can't skip letter? through this though. HT Marley. Here's a letter that So, um, yeah. Ahem. <clears throat> I forgot something. Yeah, screen share. There we go. I see. This is for Governor Marley. Do you have power of attorney to act on her behalf? I'm her dashing. Uh, yeah. Good enough. Oh, well. So note to self: is... don't hit the BRB button for me. <laughs> yep. Uh. And again, at, at least we know what to do oh, now, oh. and perhaps a way to shortcut the game's uh, breaking. Actually, yeah, as quick you get inside, save. And once you get out, save. Yeah, basically every time we turn transition somewhere, save. <laughs> Everything seems to be in order, Mr. Marley. That's Mr. It was bound to happen sooner or later with a next nice screw up with saving like that. Luckily, in other games, autosave has managed to, well, handle things. Okay. It's an old cracked sword. Let's pick up everything. Hey you all forgot what you have to do, right? Hmm. Save. Yeah, I'll pick up all the, the small stuff here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Hey, it does seem to respond a bit faster now. Yeah, not also because me. I'm skipping over putting away the thing with the inventory. Okay. Hmm. Okay, if it, if it is doing something, it I don't think it's doing anything. I don't think it's always doing something. Yeah, thing. But it it could just be a a, a case of uh, yeah, because we think it does, we presume it does. Yeah, well, it was just a pure coincidence. Come on, guy, let's get your thick thighs through that play, little gap. I don't think so. There it, seems to be what? something inside. It's a music box. Hey, hey there's up. a bottle of fine grog behind this music box. Oh, Inky, leave the Lego alone. Yeah, she's climbed on top of one of the other shelves. She wants to be inside of one of the boxes for some reason. But that's full with an old <laughs> Xbox and a, a Lego U-Wing, I believe it was called. Uh, the ones from Rogue One. Okay. Are you looking to jump down somewhere? Of course, quick wash of her paw. Now she's on, and now she moved over to the, the 
Make the bookshelf. Another paw wash. <laughs> okay, pick that up. Put it away. No, you're not jumping down from there. Because then you're going to jump on top of a bunch of tables. Okay, turned around. Looking back to where she was going before. Okay, in the meantime, I don't... You all don't need... You know, probably don't want me to... Keep commentating on the cat going around. <laughs> Making her way back. And it doesn't seem to actually be doing anything. Okay. Well, so last time was just a pure, uh, pure coincidence then. Yeah. Okay, now she's back on top of the boxes. Hmm. Oh, and... Uh, oh, no. No, you don't. You already did that before once. You almost threw stuff off. Come on. Get... Get... There's a model of the uh, International Space Station that she almost threw off last time, and she was headed towards it again. And oh, now she's on top. Now she's on top of the wardrobe with all of the plushies. Because yes, <laughs> I have plushies. I am not ashamed of that. Yeah, now she's just amidst them. And either I'm hearing noise from outside or she's purring like hell. <laughs> okay. Why are you looking inside of the open door? Where she would have been lying. Now she's going back. The sword seems to be widening the crack a bit. Alright. Small sponge. Ink, leave the seal plushie alone. Before we pour the grog on, that is where I'll do a save. Yep. And then now she's on top of the husky you know, plush that used to belong to my grandmother. Now she's looking down again. She, yep. Yeah, and she jumped down on the bed. Oh dear. Oh. I just remember another random factor about Australia. Okay. Its original name was New Hollandia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now that we're 10 minutes off, <laughs> 10 minutes back into this again and. Of course, she climbed into a box that I used for plastic waste. <laughs> because cat and box, of course. You should probably have a... Just a random empty box just for the cat. Yeah, we do have that often enough, but then they just go sit in it like three times and never again. Just, just, okay. Besides boxes, cats love being contrarians as well. Point taken. Mm 
Come on. Now we have to pull it out again. I'm just going to keep doing this in the absolute hope that it is speeding things up a bit. Stop it! That for some reason annoyed my eyes. Okay. And I don't have epilepsy, but for some reason that actually annoyed my eyes. Alright. Not going to do it anymore then. And why do these yeah, sponges we're... look like croissants? Yeah, I was just saying earlier that they don't really look like a sponge that they used back then. Now I want a freaking croissant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and one more time. I do wonder who the hell it is that did this. I don't know we... I don't think we know any character with the initials PP. Make your own jokes there at your own... Uh, at the cost of your own dignity. And I don't remember any characters without noses. Hmm. Now the question is, how do they know of us and of the Marley heirlooms? That is a good question. <laughs> oh, he's one on a poster, by the way. I'm free! So long, sucker! The other do that, that is. You've just been robbed by Guybrush Threepwood! <laughs> hey, hey, where'd he go? Hey, what's all the commotion? Do you? Ah. You're under arrest, Mr. Threepwood. Right, down to the jailhouse with you. Okay, now we'll have to go. <laughs> now we'll have to sit through that ticking again. At least I got some snacks this time. I really, really hope that the Telltale tale game works smoother. Yeah, it was more recent. Hmm. Yeah, that really doesn't seem to be doing anything. So, yeah, uh, might as well use its time a bit. Uh, I've already talked about it a few times, but just in case. Uh, Monday, I'm starting a new job, for which the hours are probably going to be fluctuating. And I'll likely be scheduled in for weekend work as well from time to time. So we'll have to see. Uh, I, I very much doubt that it'll be like... Uh, Monday to Thursday's work and weekends as well. More likely, uh, yeah, for Monday to Thursday on one week, then uh, two days and the weekends on another week. All right, you. Didn't your mum ever explain that bank robbery isn't nice? It wasn't me, it was the no no bandit. Right. Eh? No no bandit. Or perhaps it was the guy we caught red-handed. You! Although we haven't found the loot yet. So find it with the real robber. So let me go and get cracking. Detective work isn't my job. If you want to clear your name, you've got a few things to do. Okay, what? I need the perpetrator. I need proof he was at the scene of the crime. And I need proof that he committed the crime. You know, it'd be a lot easier if I could just bribe you. I'll ignore that, Threepwood. Around here, we do things by the book. Now. Since this is your first offense, you'll be placed under house arrest. I get to go back to the mansion and play with Timmy? No. You are confined to Luca Island. You are not permitted to leave until and unless you are cleared of the crime of bank robbery. To make sure you don't leave, 
You are required to wear the voodoo anklet of extreme discomfort. I was wondering about that. It's rather uncomfortable. Can you loosen it? Well, that wouldn't be the point then, would it? It gets a lot more uncomfortable if you try to leave the island. Uh, at least I'm not in jail. Okay. I, I recognize the voice actor. There we go. And I don't recognize him, I think. Uh, so, I feel like it loaded faster than the last time here now. Hmm. Maybe. Okay. So, yeah, once more, Guy Ress has managed to get himself into trouble. Uh, anything new to say, Otis? Otis, what are you doing here? I'm a victim of society. Ah, uh, yeah, we hadn't, we Wait, hadn't talked released. to him yet. He'll be released just about the same time you prove your innocence. Hey, just because my captain is a notorious bank robber, there's no reason to take it out on me. Otis, <laughs> Jake, you're not helping. <laughs> Let me guess. Uh, you were crazy, right? How did you know? <laughs> eh, just a hunch. Some old guy with a weird accent accused me of stealing flowers from his front yard. I'm feeling an Wait. incredible feeling of deja vu. Would it help if I gave you a breath mint? Wait, it's passed. See you later, oh, right. You gotta get me out of here, right? Hmm? Didn't? Didn't Guybrush offer him a breath mint? Yep. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, we have to find whoever the hell PP is. Yeah, it, he said something, it gave us a clue. He said a guy with a weird accent. And everyone no, here... No, that's the one, the that's the one who uh, got Otis into jail. Yeah, but might also, also be the one causing problems for us. Whoever lives here must be pretty small. Or... People here are not familiar with Australia here, apparently. Nice. Yeah. I'm not picking that up. I thought that laundry got hung up after it was cleaned. Okay, nothing at the short house for us. Uh, Guybrush apparently oh, doesn't want to recognize that place. Uh, don't forget, the buildings here look way different from Belia. Island. That's the door to the yeah. house sticks. Like, completely different art style even, which is a bit weird. Either way, we have a bank robber to find, so we might as well, yeah, go around looking everywhere. It's a barrel of sticks. There's so many to choose from, I can't decide. <laughs> Just another barrel of sticks. I don't think there are any sticks I want in that barrel. Freddy, yep. where's my new walking stick? It's right over here, Mr. Mangrill. A brand new cane, hand-carved to the exact specifications of your previous stick. It better be, or I'll buy up your putrid little shop and replace it with something useful, like a public urinal. I uh, take it that you'll be putting this on your tab, Mr. Mangrill? What do you think? Ah, oh, great. Another jackass. You know, if I weren't a peaceable sort, I'd whack that gentleman over the head with one of my sticks. I wouldn't stop whacking until his brains leaked out all over my rustic, hand-polished hardwood floor. <laughs> yep. But you're a peaceable sort, right? Yep. <laughs> but I, uh, I'm guessing he's one stick away from snapping. What's his name is Freddy. Must be the guy who makes these sticks. Yep, Freddy's my name. Been making sticks since you were no bigger than a toenail on a June bug. <laughs> okay, I didn't actually re expect them to respond to being looked at. I'm back. So you are. Were we ever here in the first place? <laughs> 
I wouldn't think that a walking stick shop could support itself on a pirate-infested island. Well, under normal circumstances, I might agree with that sentiment. But lately, Lucar Island's been experiencing an influx of tourists, gawkers, and other assorted outsiders. They're always more than eager to purchase my authentic pirate walking sticks at a reasonable markup, of course. Besides which, I can always depend on Mr. Mandrel to break a few dozen sticks a week. He's been single-handedly keeping me in business for months. <laughs> uh, he is a bit of a temper. You wouldn't happen to know anything about a no-nosed pirate, would you? Well, now, that sounds a lot like Peg-Nosed Pete. What would you like to know about him? Well, that was easy. <laughs> Who is he? Peg knows. He's the greatest pirate thief on Lucar Island. No one's come within a ship's broadside of putting him in leg irons yet. But I came close once. No. Yes. It happened one dark and foggy night. Many years ago, I was out testing out one of my new walking stick models, the WD-32. It has a real fancy-looking wood duck engraved in the handle, and he tried to mug me. Gosh, what did you do? Well, I wasn't going to stand for that. I raised my cane up to give him a good whack on the noggin, you betcha. And? And he ran away. I didn't even get a chance to swing. I guess he knows better than to mess with old Freddy. Yep, fascinating. So, he's a coward as well. <laughs> where can I find him? You can't. Come again? No one knows where Pegnose's hideout is. Oh, sure. There's some rumors of him living in the middle of the treacherous mists o time marsh. But frankly, I, I don't believe a human being can get there from here. Okay, that doesn't sound ominous at all. You know, that's was a pond. Something of a mystery. In the midst of time. These parts would tell you it was nibbled off by a duck. Yeah. Personally, I don't believe it. Why not? Well, sir, it's been my experience that ducks have exceptionally tiny teeth. It'd take a long time for a duck, even a particularly nasty duck, to nibble off a man's nose. I can't imagine a man letting a duck peck away at his nose for hours on end without seeking medical help. Good point. Why do I get the feeling we're going to give the duck fake teeth? <laughs> so you really don't think that a duck bit off his nose? No, I suppose it could have happened that way. I just find it highly irregular. Uh, on second thought, I think I'll find out about Pegnose on my own. Makes no never mind to also, me, Junior. Also, Pegnose? Really? So the walking stick market is booming, is that it? Well, no, I wouldn't exactly call it booming. Or just putting food on the table, and if Mr. Mandrel never pays off his tab, I can retire. Okay. Can you help me? I can't decide which walking stick is right for me. Well, now, in order to choose the right stick, we'll need to know a little about your walking stick needs. Where do you expect to be doing most of your walking? Uh... these things were just decorative. Perhaps you should talk to me again when you're more serious about walking sticks. <laughs> uh, really? Stick around. I'll be back later. Be seeing ya. <laughs> it's Freddy's stick catalog. Okay. Um, I'm guessing we won't be getting it much out of here just yet. But I get the feeling we'll... Oh. Wood shavings might be useful for something. Um, what is it with that sign up there? Arby. Uh, first, let's put these away. It is very important to choose a walking stick that fits your body, lifestyle, and temperament. Your walking stick should be no more than waist high and hefty enough to support 50% of your body weight. Active people should choose a stick that corresponds with the type of activity. Boring. <laughs> Guess I don't want a walking stick that bad. Brush. Respect walking sticks. Yeah, I, I personally wouldn't mind a decorative one, and uh, yeah, if you're if you get old enough, it's like you're going to get one anyways. Okay. Let's give you a chance. A annoying perfume pusher. What's the hey, stop that. 
Ahem. Welcome to Sense and Sensibilities, where subtle fragrances from exotic lands transport you to worlds of romance and delight. My name is Hugo, and I am a licensed aromatherapist. Can Hugo interest you in one of our fine perfumes, colognes, or aftershaves? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you say cologne. <laughs> Aren't you a little piratey for a perfume salesman? Hugo's not a pirate. Hugo's a model citizen, making a positive economic contribution to the economic well-being of Luca Island. Okay, this is a bit... This is unusual of a person speaking in third person, speaking to... Ellen not Quinn. creepy. <laughs> not creep... Hey! But yeah, uh, this is this guy is one of the reasons why early '90s uh, animation can seem off at times because he, the way he's moving around his head and talking like that, it looks like, he looks like a freaking animatronic. Yeah, but it seems they put more focus on uh, Guybrush and uh, Elaine. Yeah, of course, they're yeah, the main characters. Yeah. You wouldn't happen to have seen a no-nosed pirate run by here with a sack of loot, would you? No, but Hugo did see you run by here with a sack of loot. Now, so why are you staring at us, Hugo? He looks a little like a bird. A sack of loot. Which way was I going? Towards the deepest forests of Luca Island. Thanks. Okay, so I we have a direction. I think you've been in the other games. If he is, if he was, I haven't recognized him yet. What's that ungodly stench you've been exposing to unsuspecting passers-by? That's our featured fragrance, Eau de la Chuck. Who oh. want to smell like LeChuck? Oh, it's very popular among tourists wanting to capture that authentic swashbuckling mystique. But LeChuck smelled like a rotting corpse. We prefer to refer to it as <laughs> earthy. Come on! Uh, That's not how Earth smells. Yeah. And I should know, I used to use it. Oh, yes, sir. In the last few hours, Hugo's gone through dozens of sample bottles. Right, I was saying, I should know, for I used to use a an old half-buried uh, Earth... Oh, what is it called? I know we be calling it Swedish, but... Smell you later. Thank you for your patronage. Please come again. Yeah. Uh, have you seen in uh, half buried earth houses that people used to have as a storage? Uh, burrows or something? Uh, yeah, basically, it's basically a burrow. I used to use... I think it was meant for storing wine and such. But I used it, uh, see it as a smithy. When I was a kid, so I know how uh, how earthy smells. That's a very aesthetically pleasing town, I think. Oh, Brittany. Why, hello there, Brittany. Oh, hi. Why do you sound like a sick kraken? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sorry you lost your job. Oh, it's all right. I didn't like working at that bank much anyway. I've always really wanted to be in show business. Okay. What kind of show business? I want to be a singer and have my own backup dancers. I don't have any skills or experience, but I figure with the right attitude, there's no stopping me. <laughs> Okay, that sounds like a bit of talent, at least. Uh, what did the screen say? Uh, I moved the yeah, I moved the screen up a bit because on my end it's a it's a oh. small box of like eight hundred by six you know, hundred uh, pixels and yeah I moved it to the upper uh, edge of upper side of the screen for me. Yeah, yeah, you, <laughs> you just made me think that something happened. <laughs> Why were you wasting away at the bank? And I was making ends meet while I put my act together. Guess I needed the push. I was getting too wrapped up in the whole financial system thing. <laughs> Me too. I recognize the voice. Start an act together. Mm, I don't think so. I'm looking for someone a little more piratey. Mm, cool. <laughs> Hope that works out for you. I think the voice actor is an actual singer. 
Okay. Is it too late to open an account? You're funny, Mr. Threepwood. <laughs> the bank is no concern of mine anymore. Well, I have manly things to do in a sensitive way. Bye. Really? Don't go try and cheat talk. again, uh, Guybrush. You are, you already wasted once almost with Elaine. So just in yeah, uh, see. What the heck is that? Uh, the guy in the, moving in the background. <laughs> yeah. What? She looks a little uh, lightheaded. He looks like a, he right? one of Santa's elves escaped and uh, put on some weight. <laughs> Look, it looks like he's trying to sneak. Sneak with Dutch wooden shoes. Yeah, clogs. Uh, you have a clog edge, all right. Uh, we can wait for no, you. No, they're called clogs. <laughs> uh, let's see, we have something uh, the, here. Uh, perfect. fact, we also have clogs. In Sweden. Okay. Only one area, though. Do we just call them wood shoes? I think he's still pretty cheesed off about the bank robbery. So, the areas with the, have the wooden shoes is also the same area that is famous for the painted uh, horses. Okay. We have a lot of woodcraft. Oh, yeah, we love woodcraft. This bank sure has <laughs> a lot of windows. Hey there, money bags. Very funny, Mr. Threepwood. Are you enjoying the money you stole? Hey, I'm innocent. Yes, right. And I'm a 20 carat brooch. It was the no-nosed <laughs> man. Well, I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. Of course, I used to, until you came along, that is. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. <laughs> Have you seen someone go by here carrying a bag of loot? What does he look like? Sort of like me. Yes, I've seen him. But he didn't have a bag with him. Really? Where? I'm looking at him! <laughs> uh, three with is so thick sometimes. Eh, no, sometimes. How's the banking business? Oh, just uh -huh. great! Thanks to you, now I'm broke. And nobody on this island will trust me with their money ever again. What am I going to do now? Oh, okay. yeah. You could have a bake sale. I've only met one person who could sell pastries to pirates, and he's in real estate. What? Uh, yeah, what? I'll find the uh -oh. guy who did it and wreak vengeance upon his soul. That won't help me much, but watching you fall on the sword would be entertaining. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He has a low spine. You can steal enough to start your bank again. I'm a banker. I don't know anything about stealing. Pregnant pause. Very pregnant pause. <laughs> okay. The, the joke being, of course, that's uh, yeah, banks will try to screw you over at any okay, opportunity. Else. I think that depends on the country. I hear my parole officer calling. See you later. There we go. Okay, I do know one thing about uh, this game that's supposed to do. Uh, thanks to uh, yeah, Pushing Up Roses, her video about this. She didn't do much on spoilers or anything. Uh, well, she did do a few, but I don't fully remember them. But you're supposed to make a trampoline out of this manhole to get up to the window there. What? Wow, Lugertown is a sewage system. How nice is that? I wonder if I can get into the bank through here. I'm not picking that up. Yeah, that, that is probably a thing. It, it was seen as a luxury when a city could have a sewage system. Yeah. And the way to make that trampoline is through here, I believe. Only how, I don't know. Wait, is that a hand? Yeah, this is a place of prosth prosthetics. I haven't seen uh, so many pointy things in one place since my last um, Indian, do you see what I see on the man? 
Yeah, it says yeah. right in the text. I'm yeah. seeing it is right. It's the guy who runs the Palace of Prosthesis. <laughs> yep. The creepy looking guy has patches over both of his eyes. Yeah, but my hearing is great. Sorry. <laughs> I make another voice actor. At one point, I I put up I put two eye patches on this model just for the, the fun of uh, seeing how stupid it would look. He still he probably would look like a fawn on you uh, if you do that. Like only him here. <laughs> it appears to be some sort of high tech file retrieval system. These are the controls for the file retrieval system. Actually, no, not a form, more like a brawl, when I think about it. And what the...? Okay, we can screw around know. with this. Okay. Uh, I feel like you should probably prepare and save here again. Probably, yeah. Oop. It's some sort of document. The name on it says Adeline A. Apricot. It has all sorts of useless information, such as prosthetic prescriptions, address, phone number, allergies. What? I wouldn't call phone those really useless, but oh well. Uh, also, yeah, phone number, what? <laughs> Welcome to the Palace of Prostheses, home of the no detection, no infection, no rejection, 30 day guarantee. You smell new. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Well, you don't smell so mighty to me. What? In fact, you smell kind of flowery. <laughs> what? Heck, I can smell your lilacs and lilies aftershave even through my stuffy nose. Wow. Good. Oh, Dave. Around here they call me Dead Eye Dave. I'm the Tri Island area's foremost expert in anatomical approximation. So, how's oh. the prosthetics business? Oh, it's been better. Let me guess. An Australian land developer is using strong arm tactics to try and buy up your business. What? Where'd you get a weird idea like that? Well, I just figured. Well, you figured wrong. Australia. What kind of a name is that anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. So what is wrong with your business? My monkey left me. What? Nope. <laughs> uh, I have a feeling that the Helion, uh, no, Beanie would have a lot to say about this. <laughs> I'm going to send him the vaults uh, eventually. <laughs> and you're so despondent over your loss that you can't focus on your work, right? Despondent? Over Pongo? Don't be silly. Then why was he so important? Because Pongo handled all my paperwork and deliveries. He was the only one who understood my back office's automated filomatic filing system. Without him, I have no idea which orders go with which customers. It's really upsetting my regular clientele. That's terrible. Okay. So we're going to have to find that monkey? Not to be insensitive, but are you blind? Do I look blind? I don't know. The twin eye patches could be some sort of hip new pirate fashion statement. Of course I'm blind, you lilac scented party waste! Sorry. <laughs> don't give it a second thought. My other senses more than compensate for my lack of sight. For example, I usually can identify my customers by their distinctive individual odors. You can recognize people by their smell? Usually no problem. Today though my nose is stuffed up because I got the, a bit of a cold. So I can only recognize amplified odors, like the lilac aftershave you generously applied to your face. Fortunately my hearing's still sharper than a barge full of bunnies. Eh? What? <laughs> okay. Also, I'm, I'm feeling stuffy just from listening to him. So how sharp is your hearing anyway, Baldy? Sharpen up, Pinky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a no-nosed pirate thief. Ooh, well, we yeah. certainly get a lot of those around here. Thieves? N no, no-nosed pirates. Really? Oh my, yes. You'd be amazed how often pirates lose their honkers. Does this pirate thief of yours have a name? Not that I know of. Oh, that's too bad. Of course, no, come on, you know if I already. knew the pirate's name, it probably wouldn't matter. Without Pongo, I wouldn't be able to retrieve your pirate's file. Okay, so we're See going later. to have to... That makes one of us. 
he, and also, did I day really? Uh, I'm presuming they, he either got it before he lost his eyes, or, well, it's because his eyes are dead. I have to see, she's investigating why dead eyes are called dead eyes. Uh, uh, but that, I mean, the people that are very good at sharpshooting. Yeah, I, I presume it has something to do with whoever they lay their eyes on end up dead or something like that. Possible. It's a basket of finely crafted prosthetic limbs. I'm not touching that. It's a false leg made of porcelain. <laughs> Some reason has something with porcelain. It's a oh right, I almost forgot that. Oh, I heard that. I hope you're planning to pay for that hand. It ain't cheap. Uh, actually, I don't have a dime. Well then, you'd best be putting it back then, eh, Tiger? Sorry. I think his voice sounds a bit familiar to me. I think many do. I think there are many. Listen, many voice actors I hear are would be considered veterans uh, by today's standards. Yeah. Okay. Well, we need something to identify <clears throat> Pegno's Pete in that system. Yeah. Reminds me, did you know that guy we met in the prison? Yeah. Uh, uh, the uh, detect detective? Yeah. I think I heard him from one of the Monty Python shows. Okay. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, come on, there. He's Actually, so... it could be one of the Monty Python gang. I'll have to look for that up. Way... Yeah, for them, they sort of able to do different voices quite well. Uh, oh, that... that was his hairband. <laughs> it's a stinky I thought his water. face got turned around, <laughs> and we took off his eyes. It's a crude raft. So oh. crude, uh, it, it... <laughs> the graphics aren't that crude. Oop. Uh, no time for walking in place, Guybrush. Wait, you forgot to say, didn't you? Now I'm going to save next time we have control here, but... Uh, Guybrush... He's trying to transition onto the raft. Uh, oh no... Uh I think I just realized why the voodoo shackle on his leg is con uncomfortable. Mm, Alright then. There's two snake heads about to bite his leg. Okay. If um, you look, you see it. Yeah, brush. Okay, l let's hope he's not just absolutely stuck like this. But if we do have to reload, it shouldn't take too much longer, anyways. Yeah, do. It feels like we wasted a lot of time due to that. Yeah, about 10 minutes, but yeah. Should be avoided last... next that's possible. Guybrush, Wasn't come on. Last time we did that, we basically lost about 30 minutes. Last time? Yeah, we played 30 minutes, then you accidentally logged out. I'm, I'm drawing a blank on when or what that was then. Today. It, it was it was more like 10 minutes since uh, uh, that, uh, that, that we had to redo all of that. Uh, let's see, if we do a quick save here. Okay. Man, for some reason it likes to lag on that as well. If we load to this then... There we go. It wa I'm surprised that worked. Uh, oh dear. Uh, wait, what? Probably just going to end up getting turned around here or something. But it's, it's worth a try. And say this, if you were, to, you were to tell me to row out a boat on a raft in thick fog, I would tell you no. Right. 
Are those missing incredible? Eh, uh, no. <laughs> it's locked. <laughs> okay. We're going to need something for this. Prob I'm, okay, I'm not I'm not seeing any ha uh, got time. I'm not seeing any uh clock hands on that oh, thing, so probably this place. Okay, that at least tells us that we need some yeah, some clock hands uh, for that. Okay, time to get off, guy rush. I hope he's not having trouble dismounting as much as well. Maybe this will work now as well. To get him off. Off the raft. There we go. He's just going to vibrate out of existence for a moment. Come on, take the pause, yeah. guy rush. There we go. What is this place? A foreboding mansion? Okay. This looks a bit heck? more normal built. That watchbird gives me the heebie jeebies. Oh, okay, that's the <laughs> it's the gargoyle on top of it. That fountain gives me the heebie jeebies. It's the front door of this fabulous, though creepy, mansion. Okay. Fabulous? I think that we disagree about fabul. Never mind. Uh, hmm. Is that a capybara? Yeah, it looks like one, and a koala. So I guess we found the Australian's house. Uh, oh, wait, the, I did. The platypus. I, I <laughs> missed the one by the paint. The platypus? Oh, there's a platypus over there. And yeah, underneath the long painting, that looks like a capybara, and the koala left of that on the uh, yeah. fireplace. Oh, oh, it, it could also be a wombat that has been badly animated. Well, if it is Australian house, then it probably would be a wombat. in my house. Okay, so you're the Australian. Well, we, we he was the only character with an Australian accent or talking about Australia. Two, I think. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, right. mighty pirate. A pirate? I hate pirates. My name is Ozzy. Ozzy Mandrill. That name sounds familiar. Uh, aren't you the over-the-top oh. metal performer who <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Master of the pan flutes. Weren't you the one who's supposed to bring balance to the force? <laughs> Are they gonna keep doing that yoke? Weren't you the one who was supposed to bring balance to the force? Don't play the gink with me, Threepwood. Who's playing? Well then, allow me to illuminate the dingy corners of your mind. Ozzie Mandrill is a businessman, a capitalist, a real estate developer. I'm also the future king of the Caribbean. <laughs> hey, you're the guy who's trying to buy out the scum bar. The scum bar? That's just the tip of the aardvark. I'm gonna buy the whole Caribbean. Why are you buying up all the land in the Caribbean? Because I'm a man with a vision. You too? What are yours like? Oh, I see a Caribbean freed from the chaotic plundering of grog-swilling pirates. A Caribbean made safe for the orderly consumerism of family-oriented themed restaurants and resorts. A Caribbean scrub clean of filth. A Caribbean you'd be proud to take home to your mother. Yeah. Mine are mostly about ice cream. <laughs> Then how do all my pirate friends fit into your capitalist utopia? You have friends? Ah, oh, they'll be retrained. Retrained? Yes, the service-based economies of tomorrow's Caribbean will need legions of waiters, janitors, maids, and dishwashers. <laughs> but what about pirates who don't want to be waiters, janitors, and dishwashers? What makes you think they'll have a choice? <laughs> yeah, of course. 
And how do the dozens oh, of pirate on. support industries fit into your scheme? They'll be torn down, of course. No more will these islands be cursed with a blight of run-down watering holes, murky voodoo shops, and disease-ridden houses of ill repute. Instead, our streets will be decorated with classy art houses, whimsical theme restaurants, and upscale knick-knack shops. Oh, he wants to turn the entire place into uh, Disneyland. Yeah, and look at what's in front of his feet. Yeah, that's a big ass platypus. Yeah, there's one of my content over there. Too mm -hmm. actually. Are those. Are those tears? Maybe. But what about the stores that won't sell out? Ah, oh, they always sell out, eventually. <laughs> But what about the children? What about them? I don't know. Just thought I'd ask. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of discussing your warped dreams. And I'm tired of discussing them. Oh, so you admit they are warped. <laughs> What's your beef with pirates? Well, for one thing, pirate smell. The only thing that smells worse than a pirate is two pirates. It's enough to make a man park a tiger on the rug. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, I'll have to run that one by Beanie to see if that's an actual thing. Is there anything else you hate about pirates? Not much. No? Other than the fact that they're an uncouth subculture of illiterate yobbos who make it impossible for a hard-working businessman to earn an honest quid without worrying about being sacked and or pillaged. Not much, really. Ah. <laughs> What's with all the dead animals? I like having them around. They remind me of where I came from. Burbank? Australia, you ninny. Oh. <laughs> My navigator tells me that you're pretty good with an insult. Pretty good? Listen, Kitty Wink, I'll have you know that my insults have finished off over 500 hostile takeovers. There isn't a man alive or dead who can withstand the might of my withering barbs. I bet I can beat you. Oh, uh, really? And what stakes do you propose? Um. If I win, you have to do the chicken dance in the middle of town. Fine. And if I win, you have to leave my house. Agreed. So, what form of insult game shall we play? Let's stick to the basics, shall we? Insult sword fighting? Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and back in his seat he goes. <laughs> On guard. Touche. Oh, that is so cliche. And that was a line from the previous game. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Okay. Gonna give you a gobful. Oh. Uh. I'm sure that was a stinging insult, but I don't know why. You're a snag short of a barbie. <laughs> I, know, I think I know what he meant by that. Yeah, Barbie Barbie's barbecue. barbecue. Well, did you redo it to you too? Yeah, he stands no chance. True with you, you flog the cat. <laughs> Leave the cat alone. What the heck are you saying? That's how he wins. He, he nobody knows Australian sayings and ah, insults. I lost. Naturally. Now get out of my house. <laughs> okay. Nope. Oh. So wanna know how Beanie reacts to this? <laughs> But it, it feels possible like they jab being at Australians here. <laughs> uh, probably, yeah. Hmm. And yeah, just out of spite, we're going to steal his flowers. Like Odis did? Yeah. All of Ozzy's guests must be very short. Oh, guest. I'm not a ghost. <laughs> 
I thought it was a ghost house that I made right at first. Come on, Guybrush. Get hey. in there. Oh, bloody heck. I just looked at the time, and we haven't done much progress this stream. It feels like. Hmm. Yeah, we are... And we could use the hint book to get through things a lot faster. But it is just more interesting to first explore. And once we get stuck, then we take a look at it. Yeah. No, I and think well, there's also the, the loading whole, time bits. Yeah, I think it's the load times uh, and redone we have to do so far. It's locked. Yeah, the redo was only like 10 minutes or so. 15 tops. And I hear a dog somewhere. Okay. Let's brute force back to here. Um, I think we've actually seen most of everything here. Then actually, there's still some parts of town this way, I believe. We can have a look. And once we're done exploring, uh, no, not here, Guybrush. Okay, that door is a bit too close to the walking path. Yeah. And actually, we could ask you some things. Inspector? Yes. Just for the sake of argument, what would it take to prove my innocence? Well, since you don't have an alibi, you'd have to turn the finger of blame towards the real culprit. Great. Uh, how do I do that? Off the top of my head, I can think of three things that would do the job. A. Eh? New evidence would have to surface linking the so-called real perpetrator to the crime. Two, the stolen bank loot would have to be recovered. And Zed, the real criminal, would have to be caught and brought to justice. That should be a piece of cake for a pirate with a keen analytical mind like myself. Oh, keep your cell warm. <laughs> really? Hmm. How's the investigation going? What investigation? You were caught red-handed. I'm just waiting for the judge. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I better get out there and prove my innocence. Stay out of trouble. Uh, actually, before we go... That's Inspector Kennard. Okay, no reaction. Uh, let's check the other area of the island. And yeah, then if we can't find anything to progress, we're going to look at the. <clears throat> we're going to look at the hint book. Phew! It smells like dead fish in here. Nine kinds of dead fish, huh? Okay, uh, wait, what? Free bait? It's a large, stinky vat of free bait, marinating in bait juice. Okay, uh, Kyvers is going to need to clean his pants after this, a termite circus. Wee, look at the cute little termite circus. It's just like a flea circus, but with termites. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was exciting. This must be where the magic happens. One-armed sand shark repellent. Shark repellent? Okay. What? Uh, just looking at it makes my eyes burn. Excuse me. Yes. Do you have any bait that could catch a cold? No. Do you have any bait that could really? catch a by the tail? No. Do you have any bait that could catch a thief? No. <laughs> Do you have any bait that could catch a red grouper? For the last time. Oh. Yes. That free stuff over there will work fine. Gotcha. A red grouper? <laughs> okay. How's the bait business? Ah, uh, it stinks. You're telling me. P.U. No, I mean it's horrible. <laughs> I bet business would pick up if you crack open a window every now and then. Why, I tried that. Well, did it help? No. In fact, it seemed to drive prospective customers away. That's when I realized, see, that something strange is going on. Strange? How so? Uh, it may be the chum talking, but I could swear that Luca Island is getting less and less pirate friendly. Really? How? Why, we've been besieged by hostile invaders? Lice! 
Tourists! <laughs> Yikes. There aren't many of them around today, but you hang around for a week, and they'll pop up like a bloated corpse in a calm sea. Why, they, they've been driving some of Lucas' oldest pirate-oriented businesses into new fields, and have compelled some of our nastier pirates to consider new lifestyle choices. Why, I myself have soiled my once noble bait shop with a cheesy Timite Psychus in a desperate attempt to get me hands on some of those tourist shekels. Well, is it working? Not very well. Insects seem to repel <laughs> tourists almost as much as fish guts. Go figure. Maybe it would help if you put a open a hole in the wi in the roof for the smell to escape that way. <laughs> May it work? Good luck. Do you know anything about a no-nosed pirate thief? Mm. That sounds like peg -nosed Pete. You know him? Are you kidding? Everyone on Luker Island is hide a peg -nosed Pete. How did he lose his nose? Oh, that's one of the darkest mysteries of Luka Island. Uh, some would have you believe that Peg Nose's proud proboscis was pecked off by a duck. But I believe it was a school of deranged flounder that made off with his hunker. Mm -hmm. That's Dead. one of the darkest mysteries of Luker Island? No, no. But it sounds more ominous that way. How does he really? smell without a nose anyway? Uh, awful. Uh, I guess I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where can I find it? But you can't. Ooh. Nobody can. There's rumor that his hideout is somewhere in the heart of the mists of time marsh. Great. I'm off to the marsh. But no one has ever been able to navigate their way through the marsh without getting hopelessly lost. It's cursed. Darn. Another curse. Who is he? Boy, oh, he's the most notorious thief on Luker Island. He's never been caught, and his loot has never been recovered. And his true face, aside from his trademark false nose, has never been seen. Well, I've seen his true face. It's not pretty. Yeah, right. And I've seen a bucket of chum solve complex math problems. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. How could the name Peg Nose Pete if no one has seen his face? Yeah, they know that he well has a prosthetic nose and probably he wears masks all the time or something. Let's talk about something else. Well, whatever skins your salmon. What? I'm almost afraid to ask, but why are you running a termite circus? Well. I used to sell termites as bait, eh? but most deep sea fishermen prefer something with a bit more stench meat. Anyway, when bait sales started tailing off, I took all my termites and trained them to do psychic tricks. Eh? I even got the act approved by the newly formed Luca Arts Entertainment Consortium. <laughs> oh, come on! Eh, not really. I have to kick most of my profits back to the head of the consortium. Eh, that ruined. Ugh. It sure stinks in here. Eh, you get used to it after a while, and come to miss it when you're out and about. That's why I never bathe, eh? So I can keep that sweet, sweet scent of fish entrails with me wherever I go. <sighs> How touching. Not to mention revolting. Eh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I get the feeling it's uh, less the fish that stinks up the place, and more this guy. Yeah. Ugh. Why is that bait over there free? Well, that bait is nearly expired. I need to get rid of it before it goes bad. How does bait go bad? Oh, the usual ways. Falls in with the wrong <laughs> crowd, starts rebelling against authority, begins dating bait of loose virtue. And before you know it, the bait's gone bad. Come on. Come on. I think I'll just look around for a while. Well, you look all you like, but if you break it, you'll board it. How can you even break bait? You want demonstration? I wonder what kind of bait was used to catch this guy. Are you kidding? That was the bait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a good one. <laughs> okay, there's still more of town this way. 
Oh dear. Um, where the hell did Carla go, by the way? Hey, check out that pair of flotation devices. No, Elaine probably wouldn't like that. Okay. Oh, hello, there you are. Hey, Carla, what do you want? Otis is in jail. That figures. He always gets in trouble when he's on shore leave. Why aren't you on shore leave? Someone has to stay and guard the ship while the big cheese repairs all the damage you inflicted on it. We? You're... What? Since you're stuck here, would you like me to get you something from town? Like what? You want a handcrafted walking stick? There's a shop that makes them. Walking sticks are for insecure wimps who can't keep their balance. I own five. Wait, what? <laughs> what? I found a lovely bait shop on the outskirts of Lucretown. I hate fishing. Well, there's a lovely prosthesis shop on the east side of the town square. Do I look like I need any prostheses? Is that a trick question? <laughs> As of this rate, Guybrush is going to need one. Or several. Hmm. Maybe I should do some more window shopping first. Whatever. Have you seen a no-nosed pirate run by here? I thought you were looking for your wife's lawyers. Yes, but now I'm looking for a pirate with no nose. This is how it starts, isn't it? What are you talking about? First, it'll be something quirky and fun like a no-nosed pirate. Then maybe an innocent little voodoo spell used to, oh, I don't know, ward off vampire bats or something. And before you know it, the Chuck will show up with his legions of undead goons and pow, we'll all be stuck on Monkey Island again. <sighs> <laughs> I should have listened to Otis. So what you're saying is that you haven't seen a no-nosed pirate? No. Carry on, Carla. Do I really have a choice? Uh. Lucar Island Port Authority. Okay. Wait, is this going to the back? Oh, okay. This is quite zoomed out. Uh, hello. It's a chess clock. He appears to be in deep concentration. He doesn't look like he's concentrating too hard. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. So who's winning? It's hard to say. I've been pressing Senor Castaneda's queen with my Montgolfier offensive. But I think the miserable Getz got me stymied with his Estrada barricade. Ah, I see. Uh <laughs> I know nothing about it. chess. I'm looking for a no-nosed pirate. Yes. Does he play chess? Uh, I don't think so. Then I don't care. Oh, his mouth is all the way up there. I thought the white line was his on the game. Notice that mouth. You. Senor Castaneda <laughs> is exceptionally well disciplined. Once he sets his mind to a task, it's nearly impossible to shift his attention. Except... Yes? Well, he does carry something of a torch for Britain, the bank teller. Interesting. So Castaneda really has a thing for the bank teller, huh? Oh, yes. He carries a picture of Brittany with him wherever he goes. Okay. Shh. Don't move. The rapture is going on right behind you. Where? <laughs> Nice move, Brainiac. That doesn't count. You know the rules. You let go of a piece, it's a move. But, but, but. Rules are rules, Tabo. Fine. Excuse me. Yes. So, who's winning? Uh, it's difficult to say. I've been chipping away at Mr. Santiago's material via a subtle Yeltsin stagger step attack. But it looks as though he's undermining my efforts via a modified Khrushchev burial defense. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Does his oh, eyes yeah. keep going cross-eyed? <laughs> I'm looking for a no-nosed pirate. Does he play chess? Uh, I don't know. Then I don't care. Brittany, look out! <gasps> Brittany, where? No, wait, it's just a duck. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to mess with I'll these people's game. game. They're using it right now. Now uh, we probably need that clock. Okay. Moving along. 
Anything ship parts store? This must be the ship shock shop I heard Mr. Cheese talking about. Okay. Doesn't seem like we can enter. Oh, did I see something pop up here? Look at look at what? Penny? Hey, look, a lucky penny. It's glued to the ground. <laughs> that old trick. Not so lucky now, wish it. Okay, now we have to maneuver him all the way back. And it looks like we could go up here to go to the other to back to the square. So there's some normal buildings here, but many of them oh just weird looking here. Yeah. Alright, let's have a look. I'm not picking that oh. up. Wait, hold on. Why are they selling giant fish bones? Somebody's selling fish over here. No. Oh, it's a fit it's a, a fishmonger. What the heck is that sound? Hmm? Oh, just the neighbors. Just the damn neighbors. It's still pink. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, can't... Yeah, that's the end of the pier, right here. Okay, looks like that's all we can explore at the moment. We can't even go to the fishmonger place. Hmm. Oh, wait, there's right. more path over this way. I have to say that the, the way this is animated and such makes, remembers me of this old-ass game uh, that I played a, a few times, I think, called Strawberry Magic. It was basically one of those yeah, really, really easy kitty games. Or, well, not even, maybe not easy, but really tedious kitty games. Hmm. All right. Time it's for the have a little spite against it. Hmm? Yeah, it's not it's really spite, a... but... Hmm. But? Yeah, I, I saw a video of it more recently, but it, it goes on and on and on and on and on with a lot of stuff that it just takes forever uh, with things. I, I, I probably played it whilst it was like five or nine or something. Uh, sorry, what did you say? I probably played it when I uh, when I was like five or nine or something. I ah, probably right. don't, won't be able to find it even if we did have a physical copy. Probably best we don't play it. Let's see. Shopping and perfume construction. Oh, okay. Apparently we need the, the chicken grease. It agrees. Okay. Hmm. Uh, west of the bank. Oh, we still have to. Apparently, we still have the sword. I didn't. Yeah, greasy. I guess they use it on these Iron Maiden spikes to allow smooth impaling. Now, King. And then it says to use the broken sword on the manhole cover. I do like that it has these random NPCs wandering about. It makes it, the place feel uh, a bit more alive. Yeah, I wonder if we can talk to them. Uh, we've been running past them, but they, there hasn't been an option to interact. I dropped the sword into the sewers. Oh well. Now it's a broken and very stinky sword. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh dear. Then it says to go here and ask about a gift for a friend. Hmm. I guess we're getting early to that <clears throat> to that trampoline thing. Dave? Yes. Um Looking for some gifts for my differently abled pirate friends. Then you've come to the right place. What kinds of prosthesis did you have in mind? Uh, let's see. How about 
about something in a fashionable peg leg. You're in luck. We've just received several baskets of steady leg ivory pegs with rubber stoppers. In their 20 doubloons apiece. That'd be great. If I had any money. Uh... What have you got that's free? Free? <laughs> what do you think I'm running? A charity? What can I say? I'm broke. <sighs> okay. You've appealed to my sense of generosity. Here's what I'll do. I'll let you have one of my untested, unguaranteed, unapproved experimental prosthetic devices. Neat. What kind of prosthetic devices are we talking about? I'll let you choose through a story. Huh? Yeah. Me. Once upon a time, there was a pirate named... Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Use the names from the manhole cover? Okay. Jerry? Jerry. Jerry had his eye on a pirate princess named... Mindy? Mindy. Sadly, Mindy's finger was already wearing the engagement ring of a bounder named... Fred? Yeah, Fred. Well? Well, what? What happened? Oh, they all died of liver disorders in their early 30s. You wouldn't believe how much grog those kids were drinking. The <laughs> end. What a dreadful story. I know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. What is it? It's a Bumbaweenie M-Class artificial liver. They were recalled a few months back. Uh, couldn't handle the grog? Just the opposite. If they didn't get a constant supply of hard alcohol, they broke down. Hey. <laughs> okay. That makes one of us. So did we get the manhole cover? No. It, uh, okay, we'll have to go look. We'll have to go up. Oh, literally go look at it. What the heck is going on upstairs? All right, I missed a bit here. Pick up the manhole cover and look at it. Uh, uh, sorry, people. I'm having very rowdy news upstairs today, apparently. Yep. Okay, put that away. And... There's something scratched into the bottom of this. It says Cindy loves Ned, but scratched out right next to that, it says Jerry loves Cindy. What a weird place to profess your love for someone. Okay, going to take a piece to quickly note those down. Uh, not that piece, I've already gotten something on that. Okay. That is There's something scratched into the bottom of this. It says Cindy loves Ned, but scratched out right next to that, it says Jerry loves Cindy. What a weird place to profess your love for someone. Okay, Sid, Ned, and Jerry. And we'll just have to get those in the story, and then we should get uh, skin. Okay, I don't see how we roses are pushing up roses. Also said that it. It, it, it didn't make sense to, with this thing. Uh, I still need to find some St. Swithin's Day gifts for my friends. <laughs> what kinds of gifts did you have in mind? Mm -hmm. I'd like to have another one of those free prostheses. Can't get enough of experimental technology, eh? Okay, once upon a time, there was a pirate named... Okay, Jerry. Jerry. Jerry had his eye on a pirate princess named... Cindy? Cindy. Unfortunately, Cindy's hand had already been promised to a vile cad named... Ned? Ned, that's it. Well? Well, what? What happened? Realizing that beauty was only skin deep, she married the ugliest man in town. The end. What a dreadful story. You really should leave the storytelling to the professionals. I know. Here's your free experimental prosthesis. What is it? This is something special. It's a sample of my newly created, ultra-stretchy, one-size-fits-all prosthetic skin. Yeah. With just a few square feet of this miracle substance, a pirate can replace all the skin he's lost during a lifetime of sword fighting, knife fighting, keel hauling, and the occasional flogging. And it comes complete with a set of tiny hooks for easy attachment. Yeah. I repeat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> See you later. That makes one of us. Okay. So, yeah, I... <laughs> I hope that isn't... I, I hope this might be the only one of these puzzles where it has a... Yeah, a bullshit reason. Actually, like, wait, 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 wait,
yeah. in case he's uh, gonna. <laughs> yeah, I think this was one of her big, or one of her, her or the one big complaint that she had. Okay. Hey, it's like a trampoline. Uh, you're supposed to be bouncing towards the window. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and he's glitching through the wall. <laughs> what the uh, heck? Die, brush. Die, brush. Brushwood. Brushwood. Okay, just give him a moment to spawn back in. Come on, guy brush. Actually, let's try this. It worked earlier with the raft. And if this doesn't work, then we have the safe just outside. Yeah. Okay, that didn't not work this time. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Are we supposed to be doing something here when he's bouncing in front of the window or something? No idea. Hmm. Let's see. Next by pack of hints. Or actually, next bit of this walkthrough, it's more like. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't say to do anything more. So, yeah, the game is just having a bit of an issue loading things again. Oh. Oop. Uh. Die brush. Well, uh, let's hope at least that he gets inside before the end of the stream in a few minutes. Hmm. <clears throat> Come on. Or did we accidentally break it by loading or something? Hey, it's like a trampoline. I think the game is bugging and dropping us outside of the play area or something. Oh, and I think I see who... Uh, something nice about this chat program that I'm using to keep an eye on things is that it also gives updates on who uh, who I'm following that is going online. So, yeah, I, I see who we're going to raid now. 
uh, if Guybrush wants to make his graceful entrance inside. I Come on, hope this is I really hope this is not the point where the game completely breaks. Hopefully, yes. Hmm. So the question be if this game gets you know a bit too broken, will we just jump to a telltale game instead? Probably, yeah. Hmm. Ah! It would still be a pity if he had to do it, but still, then again, not much of a point to stream a broken game. Yeah. But that is a risk you run with old games like this. Yeah. Hmm. yeah I, I think what's going on is that the game is trying to deposit Guybrush inside of the building, uh, but it, it can't. So instead it tries again, repeating the animation of him bouncing outside. Hmm. Uh, well, I mean, we only have like five minutes remaining now, don't we? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, oh. oh. It, something happened there. Uh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Just poof, Guybrush exists. Okay, so we haven't broken the game completely just yet. But I think just in case, I'll uh, install Tales of Monkey Island for next week. Just in case we do break it. <laughs> yeah, and not intentionally break it, more like it break itself. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So. It's slowly getting through the steps. Yeah, I... I, I sort of I, I can see that people will get very quickly... bored from all this. Yeah, you're forgetting again that this is how it's playing on with modern systems that it isn't completely compatible with. Uh, back oh, yeah. in the release date of this game, it would run hopefully a lot better. Oh yeah, I, I, I meant like for people watching the stream, how they will get quickly bored of... Uh, there we go. How it is game is so slow. But yeah, I know sure it would be faster and faster. Empty their underwear drawer. Uh, what? We are not exiting through the window. Cute! Little tiny treasure chests that you can't actually fit anything into. <laughs> oh, okay. Guy brush. There's plenty of can fit things into, into them. Like air? Coins, jewelry, <laughs> hidden <laughs> soul. No, you need a grand soul gem for that at the minimum. You mean like this one? But sure, I have one. Hmm. Come on, trip words. You're at the bottom of the stairs. Acknowledge that. Don't don't tell me this is going to break completely on a pair of freaking stairs or stairs ladder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my English is getting as broken as this game. Yeah, uh, but I think you see what I mean. Like all this loading will get boring for viewers to see. Yeah. <clears throat> this was about what I meant. Like, I know it would work in the past. It would definitely be in this faster and smoother, but... Yeah, something with this game system did not age well. Yeah, that's definitely... Oh, okay, we have control again. And for safety... Going here. Place... Okay, we still have about a minute that we can look around for us, see if there's anything stupid he he'll say about things. Let's see, flyer. 
promotion today. Just open an account with 10,000 pieces of eight or more. I wonder what All right, you see that one. It. Okay, on the load again. Where? I almost get the feeling there's a trap door that's going to open up underneath him or something. That or he's gonna drop something on top of you. Oh, it's the oh. it's the light switch. <laughs> and the music player that breaks. Oh, because I could go to your brute again. Technology marches forward. Uh, Bloody heck, I actually thought you there. broke the game. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this would qualify as a luscious fern. Okay, that's 10 p.m. I believe this would qualify as a luscious fern. So, just as a backup. Insoid. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we right need to then. help you uh, English lessons again. Uh, yeah, we've made progress at least. Maybe not as much as we would have wanted. But still, uh, is there any way to go back to the menu with this? Uh, that's, probably, that's probably just going to kick us out completely of the game like last time. So instead, uh, let me bring up Twitch. And then we can raid somebody. There we are. Open new. Uh, it should be muted. Uh, now it is muted. Okay. Uh, yeah, some progress made, some mistakes made. Uh, but yeah, still enjoying this so far. So yeah, tomorrow. I thought I muted this, so why was it still coming? Yeah. Twitch being Twitch. Uh, yeah. Uh, tomorrow, I'll, I'll still have to test the games for tomorrow. And... <clears throat> and, yes. Still making it progress. Still not broken the game completely. And, yeah, like I said earlier, next week I'm starting a new job. So I'll have to see if my scheduling... Uh, if, if my streaming schedule will survive. Otherwise, I'll have to switch to a weekly uh, schedule to just see when and where I can stream. Uh, I hope to at least still be able to do two streams a week or something like that. And yeah, we'll just have to see how we go with it. <clears throat> oh dear. Uh, the Sunday... Actually, no, this... The, the weekend streams might become a, yeah, once every two week thing with the, well, possible weekend work. But, yeah, we'll, I'll still have to see a schedule first, so that will depend on that. For now, though, uh, yeah, starting up a raid of, okay, Tatum, or as they are named here, Potatum. So, let's see, Potatum. UHM. There we go. All right. So, yeah, for now, uh, showcase Sunday tomorrow. We'll have to see about the rest of the weeks from here on out. I mean, yeah, beyond that, thank you, everyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you, as always, Drake here. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And, uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. And until next time, have, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, folks.